is Dennis and I'm here to show you how to use Microsoft Access to create employee ID card or student ID card or whatever ID card that you want so here is the output the final product that I designed and here is my table so let's see if this database work because I just designed it and um, that's my first input so let's put another one here and see James Brown and let's insert a picture and see if it works let's choose the high data spy data and save close or let's see if it's we have it damn we have it right here so this how this database is going to work as soon as you fill in the table right here it's gonna give you your report the ID that you need for your employees to get into your building or to get access to the company stuff so this is how it works a new database ID employee ID then the blank page go to the home button click on this design view say employee employee ID table name this employee ID and we need the first name of the employee last name we need the picture of this employee the position the higher date and expired date of this uh, ID card it won't let me put it issue date that's why I put in a higher date okay so we're gonna save this and we're gonna format this we're gonna need OLE object for the picture gonna need dates for both higher and aspire dates for the data type we could close this and open it go to the create button go to report design and we're gonna insect a picture so go to design it said I have a background picture that I used which is this one you can use whatever you want and now we'll make this a shape like an ID card now bring this uh, I'll make it simple then I'll go to design bring my company's name right here for last call design studio make this big go to the home and make it center let me get more fancy 
fun for this. It's taking me forever. Okay, I'll just take this one and let's bring a uh, first name right here as you can see I deleted the first part of the first name drag this here and I highlight this delete this bring it to the last name now select the picture bring it down take this part off then I will make this the size of this one and just about that is okay I'll bring the position right here in the middle take this off And I will make this um, to the center. Then I will take the higher date. I will not delete that part. Then I will make this issue date. Shoot date. Go to design. Bring this back. I'll bring this expired date right here. Then let's look at it. It looks cool. Now let's go to back to design view. And we're gonna bring the employee ID at the bottom. Let's take this part off. We're gonna make this a barcode. And let's make this centered. Go here and bring our barcode font. And there we are. Um, let's select this, select that, select this, select that, select that. Make all uh, this transparent. Let's go. Okay. It looks cool now. Let's go back to design view. Uh, and select that go to design and we're gonna get a triangle and we're gonna put it where we put the image just align it and it covers it let's design this first outline let's make it blue let's make it a little bit heavy and let's position it to the back let's now look at our report there we go it looks ready right now let's save name this ID for and it's ready to use uh, let's first put in name then Dennis um, let's save this for a minute go back to design view and over here in the ID let's make this number larger make column is 
is not a color, a quotation mark. A, a quotation mark. A quotation mark. Then I put in this random numbers. Close the quotation and I put zero at the bottom and click save. Now let's go to the data view sheet. Looks like we have a little bit problem here. Let's take this off. Now we have this employee ID starting at this number. Let's continue with the and cruise and let's insert in a picture. Go to the paste paste from takes us uh, to my pictures. Choose a picture. Now go to the file, exit, and return to document. Position is the manager. And today's date. And it's going to expire maybe the 31st. Save this. Close. Let's open our report. Now we have it right here. And that's the barcode right here let's input in another employee let's make this uh, transparent save and close over Let's put in another employee. And this employee ID is not working, so let's check and see why it is not working. Forgot to put zero at the back. Save. Go back home. Now it's working guys so let's put Eric Do you set an image for Eric Do and exit he's a supervisor and today and on the 30th first on the 31st is going to spy save this close or see our report now we have Eric Doe here as well guys this how you create employee ID card using Microsoft Access Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.